Hello folks, today I'm going to cook some potatoes and some chicken legs. And so, how are we going to do this? We're going to use the, the New Wave infrared cooker to do so. And so, what I'm going to do, right now I'm going to prepare the tomatoes, uh, potatoes, and I'm uh, in the tray. And after that, we're going to go ahead and proceed to the next level of our development. Thank you. So, here we go. Here we go. This is what we have, the our yellow tip potatoes. And so to cook our yellow potatoes, we need to have our cutting board, and also this is the bottom tray of the infrared cooker, and also our weapon of war, which is our trusty dusty Cutco French chef knife. Booyah! I guess what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start setting it up. So, I'm going to move this out of the way just for safety right now. Like this, so I, you know, slam the edge of the table and, you know, stab myself with it. So, let's do this. Take the tomatoes, potatoes. We're going to load the potatoes into here first. So we know exactly how many we have. And as usual, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up and make it into. Put it there. Then we're going to rinse them and see how it all boils down. Those are baked potatoes. We're just saying tomatoes. Big potatoes. And. A slice of these suckers. Mm -hmm. It's starting to sprout. It's going to be interesting. I remember I used to work in a school and we had the um, a part of the bakery department. A part of the bakery. Oh, okay, everybody. That's everybody. That's a whole bag. So what we're going to do now, we're going to cut off the all the little things, and then we're going to wash them, and start the start the magic. So let's go. These are always classic to make some cool things with these little things. And make little ships and stuff and put soap in. It was so cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a, get a nice little a container to hold it in. Slice of these suckers. Next weapon of war is a container to put all the cut ones into. Right, so we have that container to hold it while you're taking up all the chef. Right. Can you see that? There you go. Very cool. So, pretty much, let's have a little chat, shall we? Today is June 20th, uh, 2023. In two days will be my anniversary. My wife and I have been married for 21 years. And uh, so we're going to celebrate that with some really cool stuff. Can't wait. I just I love, love enjoying spending time with my wife. You know, we spend a lot of time together, actually. See, our marriage is like, you know, people do these things when we have events. Well, we kind of spend a lot of time together, like, all the time. So we're always doing stuff together, which is which is cool. Yesterday we took the kids out to, um, um, it was a homeschool event. And in the homeschool event, the kids were able to, um, <clears throat> they were able to go to um, Coney Island, you know, so... They've never really been to Coney Island. I mean, they've been to a couple of things in Coney Island, but never been to where they got a chance to spend a whole day there. So, because we're part of a homeschool group, we got a nice discount, and that worked out lovely. So, you know, what happened was, like, having that, we got a chance to just, um, spend time with, um, um, with other homeschoolers, as well as, um, other homeschoolers, as well as, I got a chance to walk around, and I was trying to sell some stuff on the beach, and there's like, you can't really do that, so I just started making some stuff, I mean, nobody bothered me to see, I couldn't, but I mean, just, you know, people were selling water and stuff, and, and I was like, well, I'm just going to walk around and see what it is, so I dragged my, my, um, my containment unit of all my sculptures, which isn't, you don't really think about it, it's like, it's not really the sculptures that are heavy, it's really all the equipment that goes with it, like, for example, I brought some extra paints, if I need to paint something, I was going to sit down and just, just do that, you know? I might just end up doing that today. 
but let's see, let's see how it works out with this here. So I'm going to see how I just um, cut these up, tomatoes up, no, tomatoes, potatoes up, and get ready for a nice little dinner later today. Because I have so many things to do today. And right now it's 12 uh, 20. 12 20. This one's pretty good. This one here is also pretty good. And this one here is pretty good. Just going there. But, right, and this one here is a nice little slash of this. Oh, look at you. Yeah, see, poor thing. Look at you. Yeah, you got a slice right through and through. It's like you almost like cut right in half. Yeah, you see that? It's a poor thing. Can we save it? We cut out the cancer. No, can't save you. Sorry. Alright, let's try you. I like to have, to have more space on the table. Alright, let's see what we got here. Save you. Just a little bit of reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, deep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see you. You may have one too. A little bit of a. Oh, you kind of go deep. To half the potato, yeah. All right. Last one. Ooh, Okay, well, this is that for that. All right, so all these table scraps, what we could do, we could actually compost them. We could put it in the garbage. Oh, we'll probably put it in a baggie and see if we could save this for later somewhere. Not sure what to do with it, but just got to hold it. This bag. I'm gonna use the same potato bag. Potato bag. These wolf brought new potatoes. The chemicals and the fibers and the, all that good stuff. Right here. Um, so, this we can save for later. Alright, so now that we have that all taken care of, we're going to go ahead and rinse this off here. Rinse this here and come back and slice it into bits so we can put it sliced nicely into the into the 
the base here. Right, we're seeing I put the knife like way back so that way I don't bump into it. Or some family members bump into it. So rinse up all the potatoes. That's how I rinse it. It's like, you know, potatoes make a natural plastic, and then call it casing. And it's a type of, um, it's a pretty interesting thing, you know, it's like uh, natural plastic. What I'm doing is washing the potatoes, making sure there's no like, debris on it. So we slice the suckers up. So we're going to do, um, do this, do this, do this. Upon cleaning of these things, I saw that there's a, this one's a little bit darker. Let me see if I can just um, zoom in a little bit. Let's see if I can do something about it. Maybe there's something inside. Nope, nothing's inside. This was on the surface here. Yeah, it was just the surface. Hmm. Okay, so here we go. This is that. Let's go ahead and. Um, yeah, try it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Eat that bowl again. Alright, so everybody back in the bowl. Everybody back in the bowl. Oh. So yellow potatoes. Last time I did it red potatoes, I keep dropping these things. You know, I gotta change up my, my location. Change up this way. Drop a nice piece to them, man. Ooh. Let's get this done quick, okay?
See, the reason why I cut it like this is so that it can get more surface area, so that when it when the, the juices flow into the food, it can actually sustain better. Now, see, the thing is, I have two sets of, of types of chicken. I can do the whole chicken, which I might end up doing, actually, or I can cook all the legs for the uh, barbecue. Now, the thing is, like, um, the barbecue, I cook all the legs with the seasoning. See, now, the thing is this, right? Here's some of the downsides to the whole thing. Is if I cook the whole chicken, it means I won't have a whole chicken left to cook again. But that will be nice because I can cook it. But if I cook the legs, I mean, everybody gets legs. I can get, everybody can get some legs like, to eat, you know? And that works out even better because if I do that, then I'm able to, um, you know, have the chicken left over for another day. And the chicken's really cool because, I mean, like, a, a whole chicken is great. But then I'm just wondering if I have enough legs to cook it all, you know?
I was running out of space. Okay, last three. I think I might just do the chicken legs. Squish some more pieces in there.
All right, I'm about to get everybody in here. Yep, everybody. So that means this is like, I didn't cry any tomatoes, potatoes over. I have to go back and see how much there were. Check the footage. And that's it. All right, so we're going to pause there. Okay, so here's the base. This is the base. I'm gonna put the base into the. So what happens is the overflow. So when um you cook the food, you have the little handles here. Like that you have that. So what happens is when the water from the chicken or whatever goes onto the the food, what happens is that you're able to get the nice flavored, uh, seasoned flavors. So I'm gonna do it right now. I'm just gonna season it up right now, real quick. Some of my favorites, which is I love the pink Himalaya salt, baby, and also a little bit of thyme. Whatever left of time that we have left. And um, some garlic. Granulated garlic. This is my favorite seasoning. It's very simple. And you don't believe how well it just seasons out. But it just does. So here it goes. First. A bit of this. That's a little right there. And then I'm going to add some time to it. Time is really good for meat. But and then this here is garlic. This gets the kids up in the morning. Garlic. This is what keeps us safe from everything. Actually, no, what keeps us safe from everything is Jesus. Jesus keeps us safe from everything. He promised to protect you. Not that he keeps you safe from everything, but to help you through everything. I will say trials, tribulation. Even Jesus said it. You're going to have trials. You're going to have tribulation. You're going to have problems. Take care of the Lord Jesus. Oh, he overcame the world. So you know what? That's awesome. You think about it, you have someone on your side that overcomes the world. Alright, so. Alright, cool. So. Alright, cool. So now you have that. Okay. That's all the little seasoning that you need. Next up, all you need is some butter. I'm gonna put some butter in there. Oh goodness! So I stick a butter on there. Sorry about that. This is the butter that we use. This is um, pretty much salted butter. It's uh, only best kosher. No, uh, no added hormones, no artificial ingredients. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, laka. So, what you do? Take the butter, like so. Yes. And what you do? I just use a little half and I stick it right in the center. So everybody from the center out gets totally seasoned with the, the cool flavors. So, um, okay, what I'm going to do is reach over this way. Grab that now. So what we're gonna do is just this here. Oh, you didn't see me cut it. Oh man, you didn't see me cut it. All right, so, all right, so I cut it already. So I'm gonna do this here. Take the sweet butter and just let put it right in the center, right there. Okay, nothing better than mashed potatoes and butter. So we're kind of making a mashed potato kind of thing. So this is here, this is the other one. Take that jammy right there. Slice it up into two. Yeah, you can slice it into four actually, but just, just, just slice it into four. You don't have to do this, by the way. It's just my little addendum. That way I have like a nice even flow of butter on the different sides. So I'm gonna put one in the center, one here, this one, one here, this this pole. Cause you know the earth is flat. So here goes this one, and this and that, and the different poles, the center pole, this and the pole is here. And you can see a little smiley happy face. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and put this away. All the butter stuff. Now we're gonna add the cooker shield. And before we add the cooker shield, we're gonna add the level up. So this is the level up, right? This is where all the magic happens. This is where I add the detail. 
just gonna put all the clips back in. This is where you add the detail. Kind of messed up my little pattern, but here you have it like this. And you can actually just now you can put the nice chicken on top of this. And you know, if you saw me do the other ones before, where I cook the fish and all the other stuff, this is hard. So this here, I just slice the butter. I'm gonna put it back in the butter container and put it back in the fridge. And so with that, we're going to just go ahead and pause it here because i got to go pretty much wash my knife of its buttery flavory -ness. So i just wash my knife. And then I have to just um, get ready to the cooker shield. So I keep saying cooker shield because that movie, um, Inner Space, you know, that movie Inner Space that they had when they put um, uh, Dennis the Quaid character, uh, Tuck Pendleton, into, the, um, into the, the submersible. And the submersible was like into the sub, and it was called the cooker shield. So I called it the cooker shield, even though it's one of the bell tower. But anyway, so, talk to you soon. Anyway. Alright, so here's where we have it right now. This is the situation we had before us. So right now I have this, my, my scissors, and this here, I have all the chicken ready, all the chicken, all the um, potatoes ready for the, for the, the bell tower. So what happens, I, I put a step-up level, because, you know, it's, it's cool that way. So, okay, so each one of these pockets, right, is, is like, uh, like, what, six or seven pieces of chicken. Um, so I've got three or four drumsticks inside these part. So you're looking at one, two, three, or four drumsticks, and these are like, this is company's Purdue, and let me read you some details. Right here it says 100% vegetarian fed. No animal byproducts raised cage free, no hormones or steroids, no antibiotics ever. So if you can this way so you can read it yourself. Right. So you're looking at that right there. See? It says hundred percent vegetarian fed. It's here, yeah, freshness guaranteed, no animal byproducts raised cage free, no hormones or steroids. This is what we have here. These are frozen. Frozen seldom. Now each one is three to four pieces of chicken um, I can get probably one row onto all this area here. One row. This one, this one, this one. And that's three, one, two, three, six, nine. Probably can get four, and the remaining four I can use on the chicken. There's six legs here. Six. So what I'm gonna do. Um, geez, I froze them, so it's like this is the, but the, the expiration dates on these. Okay, long story short, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. We're gonna cut four packets. One, two, three, four packets of this. And then we're gonna put it here on top of the chicken. Then we're gonna add it, uh, the, the cooker shell on top of that. Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna go dice this up right now. this because I switched back science at that point. So let's save them. Okay, let's get this in the the rest of it back in the fridge. Alright, so And so if you're gonna err, err on the side of the side you want to go to, because this is the side you're gonna use. Don't err on the side that you want to keep. This I'm gonna put these back in the fridge. Right. This bad boy back in the fridge and breach the outer lining. It's all good. Right. Okay, so that's been in there. Let's go ahead and open these up, and then we're gonna put it onto the the cooker. I'm not going to cook, show you the whole cooking of it, I'm just going to just uh, put it here, I'm going to stick it back in the corner and work on my other stuff. It's going to take about, well i got to look at the, the ingredients, how long it takes to cook the legs. Well these are frozen salmon. This here is the, the trusty dusty how-to for the new wave. 
So for example, you have the beef, pork, chicken, the chicken pieces, breast like size. You're looking at if it's frozen 13 minutes on each side. So that's 13 minutes times uh, usually has per, oh just 13 minutes. Okay, that's going to be about let's say let's say it's rounded up to 15. Let's go 30 minutes on each side. So 15, 15 on each side. If I have it and I fit everybody there in a nice florette, I can actually cook everybody in. I just want to find out in a second. Let's see here, this and this and this. All right. So if you know you can fit like this, you can definitely fit into the, the thing. So if it's 15 minutes on each side, it's frozen. Because here's the um, if it's fresh, 13 minutes and frozen. If you go too much, you mess it up. But if you go too little, you don't cook it enough. So. We're going to do that, going to sprinkle on the side, let us know which side is up, and then after that we're going to go ahead and flip it. So we know that this is the side that's up, this is the side that's down, and we have to flip it over on the other side. It's all a very scientific thing, but you know, cooking is fun. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to take that jammy, and I'm going to flip this thing. So we're going to open it up. This is the part everybody hates, the part I hate too. The part where you have to handle the chicken. So, so we can do this without like, destroying the whole kitchen or spilling all the guts because actually the guts taste so good when you put it in the in the potatoes. So here it goes. This is the position here so it's not stuck in that way. Okay, good. good. Now you're probably wondering like, does he does he wash the chicken? No, I don't wash the chicken. Why don't you wash chicken? Because these chickens have already been prepared. So This one here, right there. That's three. And put this thing in the garbage. Next one. In the time I'm gonna do. I have so many errands to run today. I gotta go and get some stuff done while this thing is cooking. I'm gonna knock the dishes up. But I would say, you know what? When you're when you're doing like um, you're cooking, make sure that you clean while you're cooking. That way you have lots of clean later. Let's do it too. All right, so let's use that and that. Let's do it. All four. That one here. So you're looking at right now. There's six. Each each of us gets two drumsticks at this point. Oh, if I get the last four there. You can have it to be doing. I'm gonna see if I can lower it down. Here. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put this right here. As I mentioned, chicken's still frozen. What's going to happen is like I'm going to season it, then we're going to flip over these. They're going to fall away from each other. Three chickens there. Chicken legs. So all the good stuff, the frozen stuff, all that. Because when we freeze it, right? Everything is, is contained. When the when it starts to thaw, all the juices goes into the potato. Okay, so you go here. You have it. So all four. There's going to be twelve legs and six chickens. You know, when you really think about life and how it works, it's like you really understand that we are energy vampires. Humans and animals and creatures, everybody's energy. We transfer our energies from one to another, and that's how we survive. It's kind of like, you know, I hope these chickens had a good life. You know, because the chickens, what they did was, um, you know, the fact that they have to, you know, they, they go their way. They, you know, it's like, I don't, probably don't even need the, the edge. But before I do that, let me just go ahead and do some more checks. I'll be back in a second. So here we have it. Um, instead, of, I'm, I removed the the layer in between the uh, cooker, uh, the, the extender. That's when you have like, a turkey or something, make it higher. I don't necessarily need to have a turkey thing on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to not use it. So instead, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and season the top layer of the chicken. 
That way I know how to flip it when it's time. Alright, so I'm going to do that with the, the same thing. And with the, yes, with the, the, the pink salts. Then we're going to hit it with the time. Alright. I mean, I could actually just sprinkle it. So the chicken and the flavor all have the same, very similar seasoning and flavoring. Okay, that's one. Next one is the garlic, because garlic is where the magic is. Oh, it just, the magic is in the garlic. It really is. You put garlic on everything. I mean, pretty much, you're, you're, you're mosquito proof. Okay, that's not true. But you could be. So. Alright, so now we know this is a side up. Everything that's that side is side up. Alright, so we're gonna move all the ingredients out of here. Then we're gonna put the seal on top of it. Let's make sure everybody fits onto the, the level. Nobody falls down. Okay, let's go ahead and put the shield. This, my friend, is the bell tower. So my little so you can see the bell tower. All right, well, this is the bell tower. The bell tower has an infrared, right? It's like this is a heat element. The heat element goes into the bell tower stuff. The bell tower has this really cool device. With this, with this, with this. Make sure you don't fall out. I might have to actually push them up. There you have it. It's actually pretty high up, you know. Maybe I should lower it down to a lower level. That might actually be a better deal because I might want to burn it. If it's too close to the heat element, that's why I use the cooker shield to get a little bit of a distance. I might have to switch everybody to a different level. Okay, so this is what life's about. Life's about solving problems. So let's go ahead and solve the problem because if it's too high up, it'll definitely burn. If it's too low, you know, because there's not much of an inch of a clearance space. So I'm going to use the other, the other level. Back in a second. Alright, so here is the one inch, or pretty much almost the two inch one. Let's use one inch. And um, it makes it lower into the thing, so it's going to be right above the potatoes. So I'm going to switch this, and through the magic of television, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to show you all the hard work I'm about to do. I'm going to actually kind of skip all that and just show you how I'm going to take the chicken from here, to, and it's going to be down to the lower level in like in a few seconds, right? So T minus three, two, one. And boom, there you have it, the magic of television. Everything was lowered down. I put it in a smaller shelf in there. And let's see how it works with the, um, the, you know, I might actually have to bring it down a little lower because right now it's resting on the potatoes. You know what? Let's see what happens if we just go ahead with it. All right, I'm going to start the cooking process. Now, I'm not going to do the entire cooking process here for you on television because you know what? Nobody wants to see that. What people want to see is the finished results. All about results. So for the next, um, for a couple of minutes, I'm going to let you guys see it. I'm going to cook this jam for um, maybe 25 minutes or so. But, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to angle this down. Lower the camera. I'm going to pause for a second.